Good morning guys, Tony Maritato here. Welcome to the Knee Replacement Support Group YouTube channel. I am just getting ready to publish a brand new blog post talking about my recommendations for the absolute best wedge pillow to elevate your leg after knee replacement surgery. So if you guys want 10 answers to 10 questions, hang out for this video. I'm gonna go through and kind of hit all the highlights from the blog post, then I'll copy a link to the blog post down in the video description. So going through my 10 questions. Number one, should I sleep with my leg elevated after knee surgery? Whether it be a knee replacement, ACL reconstruction, arthroscopic, whatever you had done, Yes, generally speaking, the advice is elevate your leg after knee surgery. And the reason why is it reduces the swelling, potentially improves terminal knee extension. So question number two, how do I elevate my leg after knee surgery? Well, I love wedge pillows. I've got another video that talks about the three main kinds of wedge pillows. And in the blog post, I've got affiliate links that take you to the wedge pillows that I like best. But you can use a wedge pillow, you can use regular pillows that are stacked sequentially so you can maintain a straight leg and comfort. There are different ways to do it. You can use a physio ball, you can use a couch, put, a couch cushion. If you're one of those people that moves around a lot at night, Couch cushions are super stable, they're thick, they're firm, and they work incredibly well. In fact, I need to do a video showing you how to do a couch cushion. So where do I put the pillow after knee replacement surgery? Everybody I talk to, imagine this finger is your knee. Everybody wants to put the pillow perpendicular to the leg to support the knee, because that feels good. But the problem is if we're working on knee extension, we want the pillow to go parallel with the leg so the leg can maintain a straight position. We want the pillow to be higher by the ankle and smaller by the hip. So that's where typically you'll see three pillows stacked where it's tallest at the ankle, lowest at the hip. I've got videos kind of showing you all of that and photos, but I think you can visualize. We don't want you sleeping all night with a bent knee. That's the main thing. So question number four, why can't I, why can't I put a pillow under my knee after a total knee replacement? That's why, because if you sleep with a bent knee and you're spending six, eight, 10 hours, which I know you're probably not sleeping that long anyway, but if you are spending a prolonged period of time with the knee flex, there is the likelihood that you're gonna develop a knee contracture and it's gonna be harder to straighten that leg. So we want to improve knee extension, but if you're not dealing with problems during knee extension, sleep in whatever position is best for you. It's only if you're not at zero degrees of knee extension. So question number five, is it okay to elevate my legs while sleeping? So most of the time, yes. Elevating your legs is great. If you have spinal stenosis and other lumbar conditions, elevating your legs is great. The one condition that's always a concern is if you have um, peripheral art artery disease. So peripheral artery disease, I'm not a cardiologist, but if you Google it, research it, um, there's two main conditions. Vascular insufficiency typically responds positively to elevated lower extremities. Peripheral artery disease tends to cause more pain when the foot and leg is elevated. If you're having more pain, you might wanna to talk to your surgeon, talk to your cardiologist, just make sure the pain isn't associated with that condition. So number six, what happens if you don't elevate your leg after knee surgery? Well, the truth is, if you're not having problems with swelling or knee extension, you're fine. But if you are, elevate the knee. Is it okay to sleep in a recliner after a knee replacement? Absolutely, I'm working on a full dedicated video just for that, and you can still use pillows under the ankle. Should I keep my knee straight while elevating after knee surgery? The recommendation is yes. How high should I elevate my knee? We want it to be 45 degrees or higher at the hip. And then in the article, I share my three favorite wedges if you're looking for something. Guys, as always, thank you so much and I'll catch you on the next video.